Ellen, is your view that uh, that this is one of those companies where you could see it come public one day, or have you had enough of that after the last day? <laughs> well, I tell you, I think the fun's going to be in building it out, okay. and those decisions are, are down the road. But if you think about where we started with Adidas, and you think about the, the performance factors that went into the creation right. of that midsole, and now we're taking that and we've, we've parlayed that into a specialized bike seat. Mm -hmm. We're working with Riddell with the helmets and moving into a broader area. Think about performance and protection as a segment. Right. And then application after application. We've learned so much about optimizing the front end and the file. We've learned so much about what has to happen post-processing to get a really excellent part for our customers. And it's really taking that ecosystem and that process and the digital manufacturing be at the center of it and really scaling that. Now, uh, we know about the, th the uh, 3D, not so great, some of these other ones that are that kind of fallen by the wayside. But Arconic and HP have tried this, and they're still not really getting any scale is it because of this, uh, the digital light synthesis that that's the difference between what they're doing and what you're doing? Yeah, this is, you know, this is an area that's been around for 25, 30 years. Right. right? With it's always promise. A lot of promise, but it's been a prototyping technology. Yes. We've cracked the code on how to do 3D printing 100 to 1,000 uh, times faster. We've really focused on materials that have the properties to be a finished part. And we have an amazing business model, right? We have the world's first uh, piece of manufacturing hardware ever to go out via subscription model. So it's infinitely upgradable, mm -hmm. right? We have an install base that's growing, approaching 1,000 printers globally now in 14 countries. And with that, it's got really good visibility and revenue because contracts are going beyond three years now. Right. And it becomes a really important part to future-proof people from obsolescence. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.